Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We've collected all the Kong letters, all the puzzle pieces. We're ready for the ultimate challenge of World One the Swinger Flinger. Hopefully, you guys are still hanging in there. Now is not the time to be monkeying around. This is the opportunity for us to show what we've learned. The ultimate demonstration of how quality we are as a Donkey Kong Let's Play. Or not. We'll find out. So this is the first K level obtained in this game. The way that works is every time you get all the Kong letters in every world. Every level of every world, I should say. You are treated to the ultimate challenge. And I'm playing this live. Oop, that was almost bad. Dixie is going to bail me out. Or not. <laughs> that was going well. I'm going to try to be a cool guy and do it in one try, but unfortunately, by and by. We'll try that again. But yes, this is the ultimate challenge of World 1. Some of these are very tough. This one is definitely going to put you to the challenge. Put all your skills to the test. What's nice, though, as you complete each of the individual parts of the world, of the level, I should say, is it does track your progress. So, for instance, when you collect the puzzle pieces, you don't have to go back and get them, so... If you can't do it on your first try, don't worry. That's lame, I definitely ducked. ABD, everybody, don't forget. Okay. <laughs> the game is definitely not registering 100% of my button presses, which is awesome, I love that, because this level's not super challenging or anything. Awesome. For some reason, it's definitely not keen on me gripping the vines. Some people don't like to have their vine grip, they totally get it. Game is punishing me. Oops. I would have been able to avoid that if I had Dixie. That would have been awesome. Maybe it's a good thing, because this, this episode would potentially be kind of short without me messing up a ton. Oop. That was almost really bad. Yes, these levels are kind of unforgiving. They're meant to be. They're meant to be tough. But this is why it's smart to start stockpiling your lives early when you play this. You know, get all those bananas. Collect all the balloons you can. Don't hesitate to buy more if you need some. You can always buy lives at funky shop, so you gotta do that sometimes. Understandable. That was close. Woo! But like I said, the puzzle pieces that you already collect will remain, so you don't have to do it again, which is nice. It would make sense to actually do it in one try, but, you know, I am imperfect. As you've seen a little bit. But that's okay. I have done this in one try before, so it's not impossible. Okay, that's lame. Yeah, I'm, I, I feel like, you know, it's easy to make an excuse and be like, oh, well, I pressed the button wrong or something, but I actually am having a little bit of trouble for some reason with the game acknowledging my button presses, especially when I'm holding the vine. That's making it a little tricky to be successful here as we avoid these weird triangle things. There we go. Ooh. I got I got juked on that one. But yes, in general, this is definitely going to put you to the test. Having Dixie will make everything so much easier. <laughs> oh, 
I wasn't expecting that. I don't think I've actually ever seen that part of the level happen like that. I'm usually not that slow. I'm operating at half speed today for some reason. That's okay. It's more fun. You'll get to see me eventually triumphant. Isn't that what you want? Or maybe not. Maybe maybe you, you think it's funnier when I fail. I don't blame you. It's pretty good. Some people are a little bit on the sadistic side. I'm a little bit on the masochistic side because I'm playing this game. This love, love punishment. Blood for punishment. And maybe you like that too. Maybe Misery loves company, huh? But no. This game is super fun. As challenging as this is, it's still it's still really enjoyable. It's the reason why I like challenges like these is because I don't feel like they're unfair. There are some challenges in this game that I do feel like they are unfair, but not this one. This is just kind of good old classic platforming. Meant to test you. Oop, I don't know why I did. I had it all clean and I jumped and I shouldn't have. Whoops. That's okay. But yeah, this is a lot of fun as much as I might gripe about it momentarily. In general, really well made. Super enjoyable. I'm probably not playing it to the best of the abilities of somebody who knows how to play these games, but you know. I'm trying my best. It's still fun. And I love the fact that they brought in the with a little bit of flair, obviously, the earlier renditions of the Donkey Kong level music. It's very good. I enjoy it. I appreciate it. Oh, come on. So we'll see here if I can make good on what I was trying to do before. You gotta go quick. You gotta outpace the one of them big old balls. Okay, it looks like we are safe. And grabbing that is the final puzzle piece, ladies and gentlemen. It's level one case. Winger Flinger. And Donkey Kong's face there is wonderful. Not quite as good as his falling face with Diddy, but still really good. Oof. Only a handful of tries. The eventual K levels are a little trickier, so just prepare yourselves. This one wasn't the most difficult, but you know. So we'll continue and finish off this episode with the boss, the big top bob. We'll bring Dixie again. So we'll go ahead and do this boss fight, which is all the boss fights in this one are pretty good. They're a little. You know, this, this one's good. It gets you adjusted to what you're going to be experiencing, so it's really nice. Big fan of this one. Kongs is cute. Grumpy Seal, also cute. Goofy Penguins, being jerks. Yeah, their grumpy faces are amazing. Okay, so here we go. Boss number one. You might be asking yourself, what the heck and heck do we have to do? Well, not do that. We gotta jump on his back. He's gonna throw some fish at us. You can roll into them and get yourself bananas, banana coins, hearts, depending upon what you need. And there's multi phases. One of the best parts of this boss fight, the music is fantastic. Some things you can't knock out of the way. Those urchins, unfortunately, will only do damage to you. So just be careful. Eventually, everything will just kind of flop off the edge of the of the stage, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not required that you take everything in. So far, so good. These boss fights are all really colorful, really fun. 
the, the cinematic they did with the cutscene prior is really funny. I enjoy that. So in this phase, he's gonna start rolling on his side every so often. You can't damage him that way. You gotta wait until he's laying on his belly. But you can knock off the penguins. These look like they might be macaroni penguins because they got the orange plumage. And here's your free shot. Give him the old boink. Right on his back. Not everybody wants you to get boinked in the back, but some do. And we definitely want to do it to this guy. I enjoy the kind of carnival theme we've got going on. There's the crash ship in the background. There's the big top circus tent. I remember when I was a kid, I went to a circus, like a carnival type of thing in my in my area. It was at the the high school where I would eventually go for my secondary education. And it was just the strangest thing to me because I didn't quite understand what was going on. Oh, come on. I'm getting hosed right now. Oh, boy. This just got a whole lot harder. Well, that's what I get for running my mouth, flapping my jowls. But I remember for some reason I was, like, insistent that my, uh, that my parents buy me a yo-yo. Oh boy, this might, uh, I may not be long for this one. Yeah, I remember asking for a yo-yo, which they were selling, and also cotton candy. Full disclosure, don't like cotton candy at all. It's definitely one of those snacks that, like, I'm somebody that's, you know, I'm a weirdo, and I don't like... Okay, well, I, you could hear it. I was hitting the X and Y buttons very fast. Um, not somebody who enjoys cotton candy, so... Getting it all over my hands and my mouth. Getting all sticky. Ugh. Not a huge fan of it. So there you go. The big top bop. I forget what his name is. But we completed world one. We are amazing. So here's a little peek at world two. But first, let's go ahead and look at what we've won some figurines so here we go these were the ones that we got from the little toys so these are pretty neat I'll show these off at the end of every world I'll probably wind up buying five or so I'm probably gonna try to buy them after most episodes because I'm gonna just kind of have a wild amount of banana coins that are unnecessary so that's a good old look at Donkey Kong there's Funky Kong Looking pretty funky. I enjoy that he's wearing a purple visor. That's a nice kind of touch. I remember watching a speed run of somebody who actually dressed up as funky and it was pretty accurate, so I enjoyed that. Well done, whoever you are. And here is Tox. I'm assuming this is Funky's pet, because you can see him in the funky shop. He's just kind of hanging out in the background. So that's kind of neat. So there you go. I'm going to buy more of those toys as time goes on. And here is the last one that I grabbed. I had two duplicates, but I got the figurine of Tux. I like the, did a nice job with the lighting and kind of making his back look all shiny and kind of slimy like a penguin. And he's holding his pants up with a little rope. That's fun, don't we like that? Let's see what images we got. So these are all from the levels. Whenever you complete a level and you get all the, the puzzle pieces, you get some art, which I think is a really nice touch. It's a lot of it's concept art, which I think is kind of cool, or some storyboards of, of the game itself, which I think is nice. Like that. This kind of art is really nice. It gives, it gives you kind of some insight into the way that they envisioned the way that the world would go and how things would look. So prior to the actual levels being designed by the game designers, they had the artists kind of conceptualize how they would like it to go. And I think they did a really nice job with a lot of these. It's pretty cool to get inside their heads a little bit and see where they were coming from. Kind of gives you a little peek into maybe how things would have looked. Obviously, the initial wave of art when you're in the pre-production phase doesn't always wind up being what gets into the final piece. There's a lot of beta content out there of different games for that very reason. But it's still kind of cool and 
fun to see what they were thinking. Never hurts to take some time to sit back and enjoy some art. Maybe check out your local art museum if you haven't. And this almost just looks like it's still right out of the the second bonus level that we did. This one's really cool. And as you can see, Donkey Kong, just his tie and then Diddy's his hat and his, uh, his shirt. So that's pretty cool. Very neat. And by beating the first of the temples, we get a little bit of art of the enemies that you'll see present in World 1. So there's the slug, the weird dodo bird. I think it's nice he's got an inner tube. For some reason, the grasshopper has a collar. Is he owned by somebody? The turtle has some aviation goggles on a little helmet. And then the monocle of the... of the jerk dragonfly. So there's that. We've got some music. You can go through and click on these and listen to them if you'd like. And then the diorama. You get an actual full-scale diorama for each of the worlds that you do, which is cool. You can kind of spin around. It's only front lit, unfortunately. So some of the things on the backside are a little tougher to see, but you've got Funky keeping it real cash on his surfboard. You've got Waldo up asleep there in the in the treetop looks like a, a boat that got crashed down. There's one of the, the penguins that's holding on for dear life. A little dragonfly being a jerk, haunting my dreams. But yeah, a lot of cool fun stuff. I'm gonna do this after every finished world episode. And then and the uh, by the end of the game we'll have it all. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll start world two next time. I've been D Mike, this has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you later. Bye.